Hi guys, here we are, Thursday, September 6th, I believe, 2012, here in South Austin, Texas. 104 degrees today, the temperature keeps going up in South Austin, Texas. I guess we got one more day of this crap tomorrow. Today's rant, I guess I will... Uh, I guess I will title today's rant, The Truth That Bliss Ninnies Can't Handle. And uh, it's, so let's call it about the truth and about Bliss Ninnies. I wasn't, uh, you know guys, it's 4.30 in the afternoon and I'm just now getting here on the rock because I admit it, I was, I, I, I'm just too whipped between this heat and this depression that uh, I can barely, it is all I can do to get out of bed. So for the first time in four days, the first time in four days today, I managed to pull myself out of that trailer and make it the one block walk to the bus stop. I was heading downtown to deal with some horse shit. I won't even go into kind of stuff that I used to deal with in my life and most of you still deal with. And I, I was at that bus stop for about 10 minutes waiting for a bus that's never going to come in this town in the 104 degree heat. And I, 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 I just got so overwhelmed, overwhelmed with, uh, with just, 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 just complete sense of I don't know what what do you want to call this I'm reading a book or it's called sadness for no reason no reason my ass this grief there there was no reason not to be in grief but anyway so I trudge back home back to my little back to my little cave my dark little cave where I've been for the past four days, and uh, I, 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 flick, I flick on my email, and there between emails about wolves being killed and the uh, oil companies moving into the Arctic Ocean and, uh, you know, coal mining and uh, global warming and something uh, about some damn war criminals uh, shooting some innocent civilians out of a helicopter over in Iraq. I don't know. In, in the middle of all this, my, my, my dear sweet Bliss Nanny friend uh, emailed me, forwarded me an email from another one of my dear Bliss Nanny friends that she'd received, and uh, it's an hour and ten minutes, and, and guys, I managed to sit all the way through it. I cannot even remember the name of it. I put it on my favorites uh, just for the hell of it, just for the sick, ironic joke of it all, I guess. I put it on there, so you can find it on there if you want to watch it. And so what I'm doing in this round is creating a video response to this, to this hour and ten minutes uh, descent into bliss ninnydom, uh, just to, I, I don't know, I just, I just have to send it to the, to whoever it was who put this one on YouTube as an antidote, but uh, I want to state for any bliss ninnies who, who might actually be tuning into Humpty Dumpty Tribe, and I can't imagine that there are many that guys there. There, I, I guess there's some confusion that b because of the deriding tone I use when I use the term "bliss ninny," which is a wonderful term. I can thank my friends Eric and Leslie from Mendocino for uh, introducing me to that term about 20 years ago. Uh, it, it, there's some confusion that, that I disagree with Bliss Nannies. Uh, well, guys, uh, to, to the extent, what I think the major message of Bliss Nannies, 
Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to define my terms in, in a minute, but, 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 but I think the definition of a, uh, of a bliss ninny, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, not the definition, the, the underlying message uh, of the bliss ninnies is, is that the, for, for those bliss ninnies who are even admit that there's any problems on this planet, uh, they think the one and only solution is to think these blissful thoughts and go around going around with love in your heart and blessing the the water and your big mac and everything else i guess uh and that this is a spiritual issue that's going on on this planet no shit sherlock uh th this is th this is a recurring theme here on humpty dumpty tribe i i am in 100 percent agreement with these bliss and he's the only the only way to get us out of this mess we're in is for every single last person on this planet to have a spiritual awakening that uh, we need to start uh, treating our mother uh, with some sort of, of, of just basic common decency, if, if not love and reverence. Uh, are, are we're going to get everything that we deserve having come coming to us as a species and uh, I, uh, I I do I, I 100% am in solid agreement with that uh, where I diverge from bliss nennies uh, is that I have lost all hope all hope uh, that this is going to happen and uh, as we get closer to December 21st 2012 I have said before and I'll repeat somewhat jokingly that uh, my, my only tiny shred of hope remaining about December 21st is that December 21st 2012 is the last day for humanity to pull its head out of its ass about the way we are treating our mother. And uh, if, if we don't do a radical 180 degree turnaround, uh, which, which we're not going to do, but if we don't do it, you know, December 21st is our last day. If we wake up on December 22nd and there is one gas sucking car on this planet, if there is one oil drill left on planet Earth on December 22nd, 2012, this planet is doomed. Now, I think we have already passed the point of no return, but I will uh, hold out some just ironic measure of hope until December 21st. Oh boy, uh, but, but, but these, the, you know, these, these bliss ninnies, well, let, let me define my terms. Well, number one, uh, I assure you I am no bliss ninny. Just in case anyone, e even though I 100% agree with their message, I am no bliss ninny. I am a doom and gloomer. I am a doom and gloomer. I am someone, uh, regardless, regardless of whether we agree with the bliss ninnies that that this that this planet uh, is in spiritual crisis that can only be solved with an immediate and overwhelming uh, spiritual revolution with every person on this planet. Uh, a doom and gloomer is someone who has simply uh, read the, the, the handwriting on the wall and come to the inescapable conclusion that it is too late, that we are rats on a sinking ship. And so that's the definition of a doom and gloomer. I'm a doomsday prophet. Uh, doomsday is upon us. There is nothing to stop it unless some miracle between now and December 21st. On December 22nd, 2012, I will be an irretractable doomsday prophet. Uh, a bliss ninny, there, 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 there's two types of bliss nannies. Now, the, the, the type one bliss ninny is this little bliss ninny who absolutely refuses 
refuses on any level to listen truth, to the truth of what's going on on this planet, to expose themselves to this information about the impending collapse of this civilization, this species, and this planet, who want nothing to do with it. When they get in contact with someone like me, they run screaming into their little ashrams. Uh, I can virtually assure you there are no type one bliss ninnies anywhere near, uh, anywhere near Humpty Dumpty tribe. Uh, I, I have zero respect for the type one bliss ninny, but I have to admit I'm jealous of them. I am jealous of them, and guys, let, let, let me make it clear, it makes zero difference whether uh, there, there's whether there's a billion bliss ninnies type one or type two on this planet, or it doesn't make any difference. It's not going to change anything uh, unless there's seven billion uh, bliss ninnies or the type two is the only thing that's going to save us. Uh, so what is the type two bliss ninny? Is is certainly my friend who who sent me this video because the video right b next to this video is the video about uh, these American soldiers gunning down these innocent Iraqi citizens walking down a sidewalk, you know, while they were up there in their helicopters and, uh, and, and so at least I know that she's a type 2 blissing, that at least she recognizes recognizes not to the level that I do. She doesn't get it uh, to the level that I do because she still has too much of the, this bliss confusion in her brain, but as a, you know, but at least she recognizes uh, some of the truth, some of the absolute degree of evil that has consumed every part every every nook and cranny of humanity that has completely infected us. Uh, so I know that she's type 2 uh, bliss ninny. I don't know about my friend who just, who, who uh, emailed her this and my other friend, she's just now started to awaken. Uh, and so right now she's, she's in the bliss phase whether she'll whether she'll end up in the type 1 or type 2 camp, I don't know. I really don't care that much. Uh, as I say, it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Uh, and uh, so that's the type 2 bliss, and at least, they, at least they understand that there is an evil component alive and well on this planet that needs to be conquered through, uh, through love and heightened consciousness. Uh, the difference between her and me is that she still is clinging to the notion that it can happen, that it can be done, that the forces of evil uh, on this planet are, uh, are capable of being beaten. That's where she and I uh, veer off. I think evil has won. Uh, Every single sign, every single sign that I see points to the fact that these evil sons of bitches have won. And, uh, and, and the way they have won, the major way they have won, is, is, as I say over and over again, is through... Just the normal person, bliss ninny and doom and gloom are alike, that's been going along with this program. We are the ones that have allowed it. I have allowed it. You have allowed it. My bliss ninny friend has allowed it. Every one of us has allowed it. And we continue to allow it by keeping these sons of bitches in power by buying their products. One of the major tenets of bliss ninnydom uh, that I, that I uh, veer away from, that I do not agree with, is this crap about, uh, 
about, they even talk about this in a uh, handbook for the new paradigm, which is somewhat a bliss in any book, uh, about these planet eaters feeding off of our negative energy. And this is where these type one bliss ninnies talk about doom and gloomers such as me, that I am actually feeding these planet eaters, that I am the one, uh, people like me that are feeding these uh, planet eaters by, uh, by standing up to these evil sons of bitches. I refuse to believe that. We are feeding these people by buying their products. And this is my number one problem with Blissonies. As I say, I agree with their message, but, but they're, you know, but I've mentioned this in other rants. As I say, Terrence McKenna has talked about this. And, uh, and uh, Max Egan talks about this, these new agey, little meditating, oming, ashram, whatever, uh, inhabiting bliss ninnies that that's all fine and good trying to raise the vibration of this planet by whatever means I applaud these bliss ninnies uh, but if they're doing it and then doing absolutely nothing nothing in their own personal lives to take some damn personal responsibility for their part in the mess. And the way they're taking part in the mess is by buying these evil sons of bitches products, number one, far and away and above, me putting gas in that gas-sucking car of theirs. And anybody who, who gets any bliss in any, who, who packs up their uh, handbook for the new paradigm or their Pleiadian agenda books or whatever the hell it is that they read and, and hop into a gas-sucking car to go to some meeting to sit around with a bunch of other bliss ninnies oming in a circle and they get there in a gas-sucking car. They have done more to feed to feed the evil sons of bitches that are killing this planet than, uh, than any doom and gloomer who, uh, who doesn't get in a gas-sucking car. Uh, let's see, the last time I was in a gas-sucking car, I guess, was Saturday night. Uh, I don't know when I'll be in one again. I just finished a month-long trip in a gas-sucking car myself, but I think you see my point that to, you, you, you know, you, you can just ohm away and, t and tell your damn aura turns pink. I don't give a damn. Good for you. Good for the planet. You're not hurting anybody, but you're not kidding anybody except your damn self. You know, take some damn personal responsibility. Stop supporting these bastards by buying their products. And, uh, and, and, and the other reason that, you know, that I'm completely hopeless is, uh, well, there, there's the other, uh, one, one, one of a, a, a million other reasons. Good God, I don't, you know, I don't even know if I want to go there. I, I could just start down my list of the reasons I'm hopeless, which is what these 500 rants on Humpty Numpty tribe have, have, have been about. Uh, but, you know... It, 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 it just take some damn responsibility, and uh, I, I mentioned the handbook of new pa uh, handbook for the new paradigm. As long as I'm on it, I doubt anyone listening to this has ever read the handbook for the new paradigm. I think I've had two or three rants about it. Uh, there's four books in the, in the series. And this is this is just such a it's just such a classic humorous bliss in any tale. The first three books in the series, uh, which are channeled information uh, from the space aliens, which you know don't get me going on channeling in space aliens in Pleiadian agendas, guys. It is all horse shit. We are naked apes. 
And don't try to blame this on some damn space alien. We got ourselves into this mess and it's our naked ape little asses that are gonna get it out. But despite that, there is some good information in the handbook, The New Paradigm, and the three, in the, in the, in the first three books are all about uh, you know, what we need to do and do damn fast to save this planet. And these books were written somewhere from, I don't know, around the late 80s till around 2000. Well, the fourth book came out, I think, in 2008, and it basically said, time's up, the window's closed, we are screwed. We are rats on a sinking ship. You might as well take your Bliss Nanny stuff, uh, pack it up on the UFO, and go home. Uh, but when you talk to uh, these Bliss Nannies who are still having these, these handbook for the new paradigm circles, this is how uh, they're blinders. They're Bliss Nanny blinders. And you point out, guys, there's a fourth book. You keep acting like there's only three books in the series. You're conveniently, you're conveniently forgetting the fourth book, which basically said you can piss away everything that was said in the first three books because we missed our chance. And these listeners will look at you and say, oh, oh, that was someone else who wrote that book. No, that was, that was the uh, New World Order or the Illuminati, uh, you know, spreading their disinformation cam campaign. Just don't pay attention to that fourth book. Well, I pay a lot of attention to the fourth book. I pay as much attention to it as I did the first three books. Okay? We, we got to face up to it, guys. The window has closed and we're screwed. You know, and all of this stuff about uh, the, the Pleiadian agendas, uh, the, the, the whole big, the, the, all, probably the main part of this thing that I just put on my favorites, the one that I'm uh, responding to in this rant, was about this Pleiadian agenda, about some little good little band of space aliens, you know, coming to save us and all this crap. God, please. Does it, you know, if it, you know, if it makes you happy to think some damn space alien is, is going to come save your guilty ass and, uh, and forgive you for all your years of driving that gas-sucking car and everything else you've been doing every time you, you support these evil bastards, then I hope, it, I hope it helps you sleep better at night. Myself, I try Unisom, helps me sleep better at night because I don't have any faith that, that, that any damn space aliens are coming down here to save our asses. And, uh, uh, you know, all, all that stuff about the Pleiadians and this and that crap and the reptilian space aliens. Guys, the reptilian space aliens are, you know, uh, we have met the reptilian space aliens and they are us. We're naked apes. We're children of this earth. You would just have a, a damn hard time recognizing us as children of, of Mother Earth by the way we treat her. And, uh, you know, no wonder people are blaming this on some, on some band of space aliens. There's no other explanation for it that fits. A lot of times I can see their damn point. We have gone so wrong. Now, I, I did enjoy out of this hour and ten minutes of the of this slog through bliss and any wishful thinking what well, was probably about one minute which interestingly enough was was a clip from the very 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 first favorite I ever put on Humpty Dumpty Tribe by a fellow I believe his name is Oren Lyons a Native American uh, great guy. I, I, I'm pretty sure his name is Oren Lyons. I'm a, he might have passed on by now. Anyway, they, they, they took this one 30-second, maybe 60-second blip out of, out of this YouTube, which you can find here on YouTube. As I say, I, I think it's my number one favorite on my whole list of 500. Uh, but he is talking about in this clip 
that shows up in the middle of all of this, all of this bliss ninny stuff. Orrin Lyons is no bliss ninny. Okay, I don't know what he's doing on here. He, he would get a big laugh seeing himself right next to the Pleiadian agenda woman. Uh, trust me, Orrin Lyons and the Hopis uh, are, are, are no bliss ninnies. Uh, they are realists, but he's talking about uh, that before this great golden age comes, that there is going to be a time of purification. Purification. The Hopis call it the Red Kachina. The Mushroom God calls it Papa Bear. Hey, listen to me laughing about people, you know, talking about uh, space aliens. I, I, I get my message from a Mushroom God, all right? And I sit here and talk to and, and laugh about people who believe in space aliens. Well, I talk to the Mushroom God, and both the Mushroom God and the San Pedro Cactus, as I've mentioned before in other rants, have con confirmed 100% what Orrin Lyons and these other Native Americans are talking about is this time of purification. Christians would call it Judgment Day. Oh boy, uh, as I say, I call it Papa Bear coming back to, uh, to his cabin and, uh, and not appreciating Goldilocks. Uh, I spent five hours with Papa Bear about two weeks ago when I was visiting the Mushroom God, and Papa Bear is pissed. And I don't know, I don't even know how Oren Lyons got in this documentary, this hour and ten minutes documentary, with the only 30 seconds of realism in it. Guys, uh, and all you bliss ninnies, well, there are no bliss ninnies listening to me at this point, I guarantee you that, because they don't want to hear the truth, as you know, as Jack Nicholson said in that movie. Uh, they can't handle the truth about the purification. Papa Bear is coming back and, and he is pissed. And there is going to be the great cleansing. Okay, and, and, and it's gonna knock my smart ass right off of this rock. And, and all these little bliss ninnies sitting around in their little ashrams, ooming, and, and sitting there blessing their their glasses of polluted water, uh, trying to clean up by pollution by saying how much they love the polluted water. Uh, they're they're going to get their Papa Bear's paw. It's coming through. He's taking out the bliss ninnies along with these evil sons of bitches. The great purification. And we will see then and only then, and, that, and, and it could happen on December 21st, 2012. It could happen uh, before I upload this, this thing onto YouTube, this great purification. It's time it has come. It's time, it's, it's uh, the great purification's time and come about 700 years ago. We're going to get purified. We're damn straight. And uh, we'll see how many of us are left at the end of that little shit storm. Bring it on. Bring it on. That's why I am doing everything in my less than blissful life. That those of us who have woken the hell up I don't lead a very blissful life. Can you figure that out, people? I'm not a very blissful person. I understand the damn truth. We'll see how blissful I am when exactly what I am trying to bring onto this planet shows up. I'm doing everything I can in my life to welcome Papa Bear. He can eat me. He can eat all these damn planetators. He can eat every one of these damn, uh, these little, these little bliss and he's not taking one damn shred of personal responsibility. You know, acting like Goldilocks. That's what I'll call these little bliss and I call them Goldilocks. 
Hope your little porridge is just right, you little Goldie Blocks Bliss Ninny. Hope it's just the right temperature. I hope your little feather pillow is just right for your soft head. You know, the only question is, is there going to be 500 million of us left after the great purification, or is there going to be zero? And I honestly don't know, which I hope is the answer. I guarantee you who this little Tweety Bird, I guarantee you what, uh, what she hopes is the answer, that the answer is zero. Uh, that damn dog barking back there, he, uh, he, he better damn well hope the answer is 500 million. So that's my response. That's my response. Here from The Rock. I, uh, I agree with your message, Goldilocks. I agree with it. And, and I think your head is buried so far up your ass, you ain't even going to see. You're going you're gonna to be completely unaware of Papa Bear coming through the back door of your cabin when his paw goes bap. And off you go, along with Dick Cheney and Hambone Little Tail. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to pay the price for my sins. I deserve everything I have coming to me for the shit that I pulled and I am pulling. And every damn one of us deserves it too. And any of us who survives Papa Bear will do so by the skin of their teeth. And it's going to be damn ugly gonna be damn ugly and with that I'm gonna crawl back up to my little cave and curl up in a fetal position and try to work up the work up the strength to to get on that my damn bicycle in a in a few hours so I can pedal through this uh, this killing heat wave to get high and play some music with my mostly non-bliss and any friends, my blissfully ignorant, comatose friends who are perhaps the ones I am most jealous of of them all. So with that, I will say bye guys.